If you're not too familiar with typecasting and adding uh, strings to numbers and all this kind of stuff in PHP, we're going to take a, just a moment just to kind of talk about this. Now we know that when we go ahead and add say two numbers together like this, the result is pretty simple. We get the value two. Now what we can also do is go ahead and add in something like the following. Now I'm not going to do this in here just yet. I'm going to hop over to PHP 7 to test this out because otherwise uh, we'll see the feature that we're just about to discuss. So we can see that we get two. This makes sense. And if I were to do say one A, what do we think will happen? Well, we get the same result. Now what's happening behind the scenes is PHP's typecasting this one A. And you may or may not know that if we were to do something like echo int on one A, and we just get rid of that, you'll see that we get the value one. So we can put any number of characters after this and it will always be typecast to one. Now this is not fine, but it will work. If we were to put a one on the end, then we don't get the result we expect because uh, just of the way that type hinting works. Now, the reason that the new feature that we're about to discuss is so useful is it actually warns about this when it's happening. Now, it's unlikely that you're ever gonna say echo one plus one A. There's no real reason that you would ever do that because you're manually writing this code. However, there might be circumstances where you don't really know where these values are coming from. So this could be this number here that you're adding on, maybe from an API, it might be from the database. So you want to warn against things like this happening. Now let's just check what happens when we do this in PHP 7.1. And you'll notice that we actually get a notice. So a non well-formed numeric value encountered on line three. So now we know that this is non well-formed and uh, it's just basically warning about it. And of course you can turn notices off and on production you would have these off, but for development, this is really helpful. Now, if we get rid of this and just use a string, notice that we don't see this uh, error or notice. So this is fine, um, but no, typically you would uh, uh, see the problem when you have any string characters in there. Now there's another type of problem here as well. So if for example, we have uh, one plus one, we know that this works. And if we add one A, this is a non well formed numeric value. What happens if we actually add B on here or A on here? Well, we get a slightly different notice saying a non numeric value encountered and the uh, level here changes to a warning. So rather than a notice, which can kind of be dealt with, this is a warning because you can't really add A onto one. You can add one A, it's just typecast behind there, but we just see a notice. So these can actually be combined as well. So we can have two types of notices. So this would be a non-numeric and this would be a non-well-formed numeric uh, operation. So we get a non-numeric value and a non-well-formed numeric value. So although this isn't really a new feature, it's a good way to, uh, especially for new developers, kind of work out what's happening. And also if you run into any problems along the way, you'll see these warnings and you'll know now exactly what they mean.